Hey guys, D Mike here for another episode of Super Nintendo Sundays. Back at you with some more Do Re Mi. Faso Lati Do. You have to forgive me in advance. Uh, for this episode, my recording setup is a little kind of impromptu, so there may be a a heightened amount of failure. Which, I mean, for some of you, that's not a bad thing. Maybe that's kind of what you're looking for. Some people like to see their Let's Players not be super good at games. But I mean, you could already get that by watching me anyway, so maybe this won't be too different. It'll just, it'll just feel right at home. So anyway, um, oh, apparently lightning can kill you. So mind your P's and Q's with the weather. We're going to try to collect as many of these magic notes as we can. Or not magic notes, music notes, I can't talk. Music notes as we can. Because if you remember, a hundred of those gets you life, and this episode could be, uh, there could be some catastrophes. We'll say that, some catastrophes. We have these stupid kind of tumbleweeds coming at us nonstop. Oh, looks like we fit the goal already. Not so bad. We will take that and feel pretty good about ourselves. I think we're getting kind of close to a boss. Which, I don't know if I want to do that in my current setup. Oh, we have some exposition, everybody. All right. That sounds fun, right? Good old, uh, Tosa. Look at that mustache. Those glasses, he looks so regal. It's pretty nice. What do we need? Do we need some, some advice on how to save Alice? Maybe. How do we save Alice? Okay, so this is basically just Link's Awakening. Gotcha. This is the prequel to Link's Awakening, actually. So we have to find five cursed instruments. Okay, interesting. Okay, so if we get five instruments, we gotta collect five stars apiece. 25 stars, good math. Okay. So if you guys were interested in a very uh, Japanese game that doesn't make any sense, this is the one for you. It's very 90s. Okay. So we're just going to keep at it, plugging away here. So far, so good. Ooh. Well, this is fun. This is kind of spoopy, huh? Yeah. Oh, yeah, the government. Here they are. Okay. I thought that would have actually done something, but it doesn't. I feel like there might be, like, I'm going to be missing out on stuff in this level just by virtue of not having played this and having no muscle memory for any of this whatsoever. Got some kind of creepy Pinocchio bit going on. Oh, I guess I can land on that. Yeah, I have no idea where to go or what I'm doing. Now, in fairness... That hasn't really changed. That's kind of par for the D My Place chorus. So we're just gonna bubble everything out of uh, abject fear. How's that sound, everybody? Okay. So I'm hoping that as I play through this, there will be a clear way to to finish these levels. Because if not, this could be a very long and painful an unfun to watch episode. Hopefully not. That's not the goal here. Okay, so it looks like we can encourage this woodpecker here to do his heckin' job. And we found a switch. It's a very cute animation from Millen, Melton? Miltank? Whatever, um... Whatever suits your fancy. I'm, I'm really digging this music, too. Like, that's... For, like, a, a Super Nintendo game, this is actually kind of jamming. Kind of gives me Chrono Trigger vibes a little bit. I don't know if I'm off base with that or not, but... I really enjoy it. Okay, so I'm assuming that... We opened up some sort of a pathway with that Switch. With that Nintendo Switch. Oh! Okay. So those don't kill us. 
Very convenient. There we go. We should be able to cross through here. Excellent. Yeah, I have no idea what I'm doing. That is 100% the truth. I think we might have to go back to the Pinocchios. I probably just offended like dozens of people who are hardcore fans of this game by saying that. Um, D Mike, they're not actually Pinocchios. Um, they're long nose boyosauruses. I don't know. Call them whatever you want. I'm not very good with names anyway, as we all know. It's kind of part of the charm of this channel, right? Now, I don't quite know the point of anything that I'm doing right now. Oh, I wanted to jump on this. Maybe not. Yeah, I'm not entirely sure what I'm supposed to be doing here, so... I will eventually figure it out sometime this millennia. I hit a switch and it, it sounded good. It makes me wonder if those areas that have the kind of immovable blocks, maybe those are handled the same way here. Maybe this will do it. Let's make Melon really mad. Okay, so obviously not. Those are indestructible from our current position. I do like the sound effects and the animations and everything that's... Oh, all the other doodads that are kind of going on right now. So far, so good. Oh, hold on, Melon. I made that jump before, and for some reason now it's giving me trouble, as everything is known to do. But it's not too bad. We're doing okay. Come on now. This is not meant to be this tricky, I'm sure. I keep getting stuck on... I think I'm jumping too soon. That's probably part of my problem. Or I still need to jump at all. Okay. So there's a... There's a pathway there, and I don't know... There's an alternative way to get to it. We don't really have a ton of powers at our disposal to... Oh! That is, uh... Pain. Story of my life. Okay, well, there's a recovery item there. We like that. Wonder if we can make the... Yeah, it's like, it's kind of... I'm not entirely sure what the way to do things is in this game. There's certain elements of it that I just don't... I don't quite understand. But then again, I don't know if that's my fault, if that's the game's fault. It's not super clear what we're supposed to do here. And I'm not trying to get ganked here. For those of you in the know, if you know, you know. Okay. So we might just be doing <laughs> these two levels today because I have no idea what I'm doing. I thought I hit a button, and that seemed pretty good, right? Like, when you hit buttons, it's normally, like, super good feeling, and you just feel like a champion. And I believe I've gone everywhere possible that would seem like it's a safe location. Oh, wait, never mind. There's this. Okay, so D My Plays has figured out a game for children. It only took four and a half minutes. Yeah, we might just be doing these levels today as I... Ooh, I got a key! As I try to figure out what I'm doing here. This game, once again, is very unfamiliar to me, so you'll have to forgive me that I'm such a ding-dong when it comes to playing these games. I'm not intentionally trying to be poor at this game, it's just my setup today is a little abstract, we'll say that. And in the process, we're having to do a bit of a pivot. But no worries, D My Plays is always here to bring you high quality content. As per usual, to relax on your hopefully wonderfully 
Potentially chilly. November? Okay. So I believe we can use the key, maybe? Okay. Do I... What do I do with this? I have the key. Now I just don't know how to use it. I thought that was good enough. We have it, yes. How do I use keys? I hit up. That's how we use keys, everybody. A lesson learned to all of you who struggle with things of that nature. Okay. So I think I'm going to give this one go. And then if this goes poorly, I'm because my setup is not ideal. If this goes poorly, then I will just take a whack at it next time. So this looks like a boss. I'm not feeling good about this. Oh, oh he's mad. He's hopping mad. Whoa. Okay. So this is weird. This arena is all I have to work with. Looks like we have to stay away from his boyoing, his long shaft that he is propelling at us. Oop. Oops, that was my bad. Nope, sir. Okay. So far, so good. I say that like this is going well, but I don't really know if it is or not. At least the game kind of telegraphs where he's going to be. Okay, so I guess I didn't need to do that. It appears that just regular bubbling is effective, but I'm already down to red red melon. So I have to be careful here. Okay. Is that it? Oh. Okay, I think I did it. Guys, good job, melon. We've beaten one of Eamon's henchmen. When they translated this, I guess they forgot to learn how to format sentences. Oh, yes. And we obtain the skin flute. Oh, one of the legendary instruments. The windfish would be so proud right now. Okay, we gotta find those stars, baby. Stage one done. Guys, we did it. All right, good job, Mylon. Ooh, this looks fun. Very sweet. All right, next time we'll take on Candy World. This has been Mylon's Adventure. Thanks for watching, everybody. I've been D-Mike. I'll see you next time. Bye.